This is Coach Karan Godwin, and these are the Ball Hall Glove X Factor. They take away the natural grip of the ball, forcing your hands and fingers to work overtime. The D-cone is the perfect complement to the Ball Hall Gloves. Whether you want to work on your ball handling with cone drills, shooting with a hand in the face. For drills, follow at Coach Godwin on Instagram and go to ballhoggloves.com. Thank you, Michelle. The Jazz and the Warriors have made the trek to Salt Lake City, where this Western Conference semifinal will continue with Game 3 before a sellout crowd. Utah hoping to return home and help them get right back in the series that they trail two games to nothing. Durant finds Petrulia inside. Another good look. He was down for a while in Game 2. Did return to action, but says he's fine and obviously ready to go as Durant puts it in. They could run that play every time down the court and he would get it. You don't know what is going to happen. Durant and Westbrook. Curry finds Durant. Durant draws the foul. Shot won't go. Utah now 4 of 16. Durant. The big height advantage. We underestimate uh, don't appreciate how great he is offensively, not just in today's game, but all time as an offensive weapon. Exum is on Durant. And a side to side swipe for Durant. That's going to be two quick fouls on Exum. Durant drives past Hood and quickly lays it in with those long strides. And they got a two for one as well. Durant shoots over Haywood. And knocks it down. He's got 15. Durant turns the other way this time. Same result. I like the patience. It's his play, but he's allowing the cuts to go through. He's reading through his options, and then the last option, do you. Durant leans in. Jumper again. Three straight for Kevin Durant. He's got 19 points here in the first half. There's still six minutes to play. Kevin Durant and a technical foul call on Green. He's on the bench yelling at Benny Adams. It's his first technical of the playoffs. And now we see Steph Curry and Andre Iguodala walking towards him to have a conversation trying to calm him down a little bit. He's tried to... Steel doesn't matter. This guy is a lethal scorer on the offensive end, having his way. My opinion, at some point, if you're Utah, get him off balance. Hit him a little early. Double team him a little early to get the ball out of his hands, make him feel a little uncomfortable. He had his way in that first half. Durant taking advantage of shelf and Mac. He's just unstoppable in those one-on-ones. And you can make the case there was some contact there by Mac, but it's too easy. you got to find a way to run off of Tough spot. Mac blocked by Durant. Mac gets it back. And a 24-second violation, the shot will not count. Durant fires away. Three-pointer rattles home. 27 for Durant. That's scoring Mensa right there. <laughs> <laughs> Durant, little hesitation now. Hard drive and finish. A burst of speed. And Kevin Durant able to put it home. He's got 29. Golden State by three. Timeout, Jazz. Durant, pull-up jumper. Shots good. 31 for Durant. Durant, three-pointer. It's good. Kevin Durant from downtown. 34 points. And the lead balloons to eight. Timeout, Utah. KD comes off the screen and roll. Gobert standing. 13 for 23 with 34 points. Having it his way. Isolations off the post. How about pick and rolls getting to his spot? You're in no man's land defensively. He's too big and too skilled to come off and see nothing. Daylight, there's a price to pay. Having his way all game long. This is only the eighth game Durant has played. Iguodala trying to set a screen. Durant goes to Gobert, steps back, puts it in. Kevin Durant now with 36. Had their chances as Durant banks it home, a two-pointer. Quinn Snyder calls timeout. Kevin Durant now 38 points, 13 rebounds. Warriors go up a dozen with 55.9 remaining. As Golden State takes the commanding 3-0 lead and remains undefeated here in the 2017 postseason.
Kevin, aside from what you were able to do on the offensive end, it felt like the rest of the group had long stretches of struggle. So what did you like about what your defense did to keep you guys in it? Uh, well, this team is a great defensive team, and, you know, they stand at home in a lot of our, on a lot of our actions on the offensive end. So we got to win a game on the defensive end. You know, uh, 91 points is pretty good, and, you know, they shot 39% from the field. So when our offense isn't working, we still got to get stopped. The Jazz send any number of defenders at you to no avail. How much of the guy you're looking opposite dictates what you try to get? Well, you know, I try to use my length and, you know, shoot over guys. You know, Gobert is a load down there in the paint. So I know I just can't go in there and throw up anything. So I just try to be cerebral every time down, and but also be aggressive. And my teammates open it up a lot for me. Steph got going late, but for long stretches, he and Clay struggled on the offensive end. Can you speak to their character fighting through that and still having an impact? Well, they've been playing basketball their whole lives. You know, they have been, they had bad games, had bad shooting games, and, you know, so they know how to fight through it. And we did it as a group tonight on the defensive end, and, you know, it was great to get a win in here. Congratulations. Thank you.